Hey everybody, welcome back to the OK Modeler channel. My name is Gary and this is episode 11 of the USS New Jersey build. In this episode, I'm going to be working on level 01 of the ship here, which is this lower portion here. Got a lot of work here to do. I got extra pieces here, I have photo etch, I got decking to put on here. It's got a lot of stuff to do. So we're going to go ahead and try to make this go from drab to fab. I can't believe I just said that. Let's just start working on this. All right, so here's a little update. I got these uh, the brass pieces on here, including the doors on here. If you can see that right there on there. So it gives the, it gives the superstructure a lot more detail than if you were to just build this right out of the box. Um, if you didn't do this part, you had no portholes, no, no doors. It's just this blank canvas of plastic. So, Looks all right, right on both sides. Take this out before it falls off. Um, I did cut the stairs off and I left myself a little, sh cut a little too much right there, but I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna ignore it. I'm hoping that when I put the deck on here, the wooden deck, it'll cover that. So hopefully, cross my fingers. All right, um, the next step, that I'm going to do here is I, w I would like to get all this painted in the modern gray, but um, when it comes to this particular piece back here, I looked up the instructions sheet for Pontos and there, there's a couple support beams that go right there. There's six of them. And then there's another piece that goes under that. And then as well as this 60 or the Derrick. Yeah, the main Derrick goes on there. I'm still trying to review these pieces. I haven't had a chance. So I'm thinking, do I want to go ahead and paint this now and, you know, glue it on there and then paint it and stuff like that? I haven't decided. So far, this superstructure, why it, I thought it was going to be somewhat easy. It's kind of like trying to figure out a puzzle piece and get things right. So and just keep working on it. So right now I'm going to go ahead and work on this. I'll probably have to glue this down, tape this, get it ready for paint and then add the, the support on here and then paint. All right. So I got the support structure right here for the this control tower part, I guess you can call it. So it fairly went in fairly easy. Uh, it's a little crooked, it's okay. But right now I'm trying to add or think about putting in the, the main derrick that goes on the port side of the ship. And it's kind of a head scratcher because, well, the instructions that Ponto provides doesn't provide a whole lot of guidance as to how it works or how to assemble it. I mean, essentially right here you have the brass part and then a couple smaller pieces here. And then here's the other half that hooks up to the little knob over here, I guess you could call it. So I cut out the pieces 
and this is what I got right here. Um, not sure if you can see it. There is a hole in the bottom right there. Maybe you can see it. But there's no instructions how to put everything together. And also, it's not very clear as to how some of these pieces fit in, like number 113 right here. It looks like it's a like a missile wing or something like that. But I had to look at some other pictures that I took on the Missouri and then one that I found on the internet of the New Jersey. And based on those two pictures, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna try to replicate what the Missouri had, that picture I have, I, that I took a few years ago. That's what I'm gonna try to replicate. Um, it may not be totally accurate, but it's the best picture that I could find on the interweb. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to put this, this main derrick and put it on here. But again, the instructions are going to be tough because it's not very clear on how to do it. The only thing that I could see here is um, this part 112 right here is similar to this 154 piece right here. So you fold it and then you just plug it into the, into the hole. Uh, whether or not that's gonna fit in that little tiny hole, I'm not sure, we'll find out. But if it doesn't work, I might have to use the piece that the kit provided, but let's hope we don't have to. All right, let's see if we can get this main derrick put together here. So this piece here does not fit into this uh, this rod right here. Um, there's a little hole, but it's not deep enough in there to fit. So I have to think about how this this particular piece will fit in here, which is going to take some time to kind of figure that out. Eesh. All right, I stand corrected. It does fit in there. Well, look at that. Pretty good. So this this circular piece right here will attach itself to part of that air traffic controller at the rear of the ship. So I want to go ahead and put this on here before I forget. All right, I got that slid down. I'm just gonna leave it loose for now. Uh, hopefully I got it in the right spot. I can't tell for sure, but if you kind of see here, see there's a gap right there. That's where I believe it's gonna, the railing will, it slides right into the railing. Whether or not I have it on the right way, I don't know. All right. After thinking about this for about 10 minutes, I think I got it figured out now. This piece here will go, go in here into this section. So I believe that's how it works. It's going to go on here and then it's going to slip into this hole right here. That we already know. It goes like that. And that's how it's gonna work. All right, folks, I got the superstructure all painted in the modern haze gray. And so I'll have to say it looks pretty good. Didn't have any, didn't have too many issues on here. I had to do a couple of multiple coats because uh, the brass was kind of showing on some of the photo etch. So I wanted to make sure I got that covered. All right, so the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the decking, the uh, the tan deck color that Tamiya has. 
I'm just going to do a rough one. So after that, then I can put the the deck from the Ponto set on here, and we'll be closer to completion of this episode. Still lots to do. All right, the time has come to start putting on this deck. So I'm going to start working on the 01 level here. And let's get to it. got the decking on 01 here part of it still got more to do and it took me a while to just get all the air bubbles out and the extra glue out it turned out all right I would have to say if I were to grade myself on this installation of the decking I'm gonna probably give myself a B minus um, I had some problems especially over here if you can take a look doesn't quite line up and it looks like there's a hump there but I just couldn't get that get that look any better than it is right now so it's good enough but oh, I'm sure the lifeboats will cover all that up so I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of the decking and uh, I'll be right back all right so I got the rest of the decking on here over here and they fit pretty good especially over here since it's so small not too bad the only area that i didn't do is over here and the reason being is on the ponto set you would have to get the the bow portion or in the forecastle well the bow portion and it extends all the way out here so it makes it a very large deck piece to put on and so i thought maybe i'll just go ahead and cut it right here and then just go ahead and glue it on there and i thought about it a little more and obviously if i did this and i had to do it all over again maybe i should have put the decks on first and then maybe the decking the wood decking on there but this is where i'm at right now so if you notice here as i put these two together there's a gap right here so me cutting it right here would just enhance that gap right there and really I just want that covered um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna cut right here this piece off and then just add it right here so that way I have enough decking to cover this gap right here so go start working on that all right, got my wood glue on here and on this wooden deck here. So let's see if I can get this on camera here and do a, a somewhat decent job of this. pretty good right there I'm gonna go ahead and uh, work on the other side and show you the results here well folks I reached the end of this build here well not this the entire build but I reached the end of this section got the wood decking on I'm looking good um, this side is pretty easy this one not so much I guess in hindsight probably would have done it on the boat here and then worked my way up eh, I don't know maybe on my next Iowa build Iowa class build I'll I'll do that so anyways uh, I got this this Derek on this main Derek um, if anyone knows what this is 
Put it down in the comments section. I'm, I'm having a hard time understanding what this is. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can put a, uh, a dry fit on here and see how it looks. All right, folks, here it is. Everything's all dry fitted. I think the decking brings a nice contrast to the darkness of this uh, non-skid surface on this ship. And it's going good so far. Um, I'll be putting the railings on maybe at the end of this build, so, but we still have a lot of work to do here. So anyways, let me know what you guys think in the uh, comments section. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer them as fast as I can. On the next episode, I'll be working on this, the bow section here, as well as the stern. Until then, please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you haven't. That will help out a lot. So thanks for watching, and until then, I will see you all on the next episode.